Hi. Today, I'm going to explain a horror thriller film called Walled In. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. The movie begins with a young girl trapped in between walls. Not long after, cement begins pouring down on her from all angles. The little girl cannot go anywhere else, she is buried alive. The scene moves to 15 years later. A young engineer, Sam, has just graduated from college. At her graduation party, her father, an owner of a demolition company, gives her a gift, a job supervising the demolition of a building in the middle of nowhere. If she's successful, she will become his partner. Her first assignment happens to be this gigantic unique architectural structure, an apartment building, located out in the middle of nowhere. The structure is the product of Joseph Malastraza, who was an eccentric architect obsessed with Egyptian architecture. Samantha arrives at the Malastraza building and is greeted by Mary, the caretaker. She lives with her son, Jimmy, who is a loner kid. Sam tells Mary she will be staying in one of the apartments in the building. Jimmy takes her bags to her apartment and explains the rules of the building. She is to stay off the 8th floor because it is Malastraza's and the roof because it is too dangerous. As she is walking to her room, she sees a room labeled as Julie's. She then enters her room, and immediately takes a bath to clean herself up. Later that day, she meets Mary and asks her, how many people still live in this apartment? Mary replies that only four people live in it. Mary and Jimmy are in the building to look after it until its day of destruction. All the other tenants have been evicted, but two have refused to leave. The next day, Sam prepares to analyze the structure of the building. Sam is in charge of providing a report on how much TNT is needed to knock down this building. She must determine the best rupture points and type of explosives. A few hours later, she goes to a mini market to buy some food and drinks. Out of curiosity, she borrows a computer to browse the history of the apartment building. She discovers that in 1993, there were a series of missing people. When they were finally found, it was horrific. 16 people, men, women, and children, were sealed in small compartments in the building which were then filled with liquid concrete. One of the victims was the architect himself Malastraza. A construction worker was initially blamed for the murders, but then found innocent, leaving the crimes unsolved, and the murderer unknown. Back at the building, Sam again marks the best rupture points to knock down the building, but she is surprised when a man runs towards her carrying an axe. It turns out that this man is one of the tenants who still lives in this building and refuses to leave. And he is unhappy about the destruction of the building. At night, Jimmy secretly takes Sam to the 8th floor, the forbidden floor. Jimmy tells Sam about Malastraza, the architect of the building, who died inside the wall. He enters a room and shows her the wall where Malastraza's body was found. When his body was found, his face was almost ripped off because of the cement, his face was no longer recognizable. His mother, Mary, was the one who finally managed to identify him. Jimmy also informs her that out of the 16 victims, there was a small child named Julie. She was the child shown at the beginning of the film. She was also the child living in the room Sam saw before. Furthermore, Jimmy tells her that his father was also one of the victims. He then proceeds to show her the wall where his father was found. The lights go out, and Sam cuts her leg after panicking in the darkness. Later, Jimmy washes her wound and begins to caress her thigh. It becomes obvious that the young guy fancies her, and he tries to make a move on her, but she tells him to stop. In the evening, Sam, who is looking in the mirror, sees the glass behind her shaking violently. She lifts the mirror and sees blood flowing out of the hole. Suddenly, Sam is immediately pulled into the wall, and she wakes up realizing that she is now trapped inside. A moment later, cement begins pouring down on her from all angles. She cannot go anywhere else. As she starts screaming, she wakes up from her sleep. It turns out to be a nightmare. As she can no longer sleep, she wanders around her apartment. Suddenly, something appears However, it's just her boyfriend, Peter, who wants to give her a surprise. Sam takes Peter to look around the apartment. They secretly go to the 8th floor. While exploring the 8th floor, Sam and her boyfriend discover a secret passageway on the floor. Sam goes down it, and she discovers a secret room. This room would allow someone to view any of the apartment secretly. Sam realizes that Jimmy has been spying on her while she's taking a bath. She talks to Mary about it, and Jimmy, who feels embarrassed, walks away. Later that evening, Peter thinks that Sam should leave tomorrow and she agrees with him. As Peter and Sam spend their time together that night, Jimmy grows jealous of them. The following day, Sam packs her clothes to leave the apartment. She also prepares a report on how much TNT is needed to knock down this building. Before parting, Jimmy apologizes to Sam for spying on her. He then gives a gift to Sam. 
He gives Sam a copy of the Journal of Malastraza, the building's architect. Sam realizes from reading the journal that there must be a large, open space in the center of the building. Jimmy goes to the roof to look for an opening to the hidden space. However, he does not return. Sam and her boyfriend follow to look for Jimmy. They discover a massive shaft in the center of the building. They hear Jimmy calling from down in the shaft, saying that he is hurt. Sam has her boyfriend lower her into the shaft on a rope. At first, everything goes smoothly, without any problems at all. But suddenly, Peter is shot by someone with sharp iron. As a result, Peter dies bleeding in front of his girlfriend, who's shocked seeing this. Sam falls to the bottom. Sam awakens at the bottom of the shaft. Surprisingly, she is not alone there, there is a mysterious person. To her surprise, that mysterious man is Malastraza, the architect, who she thought has been dead entombed in the wall. It turns out that he has been trapped there this whole time. Malastraza is holding a radio. In the radio recording, there is Jimmy's voice asking for help. In other words, the voice that Sam heard earlier is pre-recorded by Jimmy himself. Shortly, Jimmy sends her a letter from above. In the letter, it is written that Jimmy is keeping her down there until she learns to love him. Jimmy then mails Sam's demolition report to her father and sinks her car into a lake. This is all done to create the perception that Sam hasn't returned home because she goes on vacation with her boyfriend. Back in the shaft, Malastraza tells her a shocking revelation. He reveals that he was the mastermind behind the murders of 16 people, who were found entombed in the wall. Malastraza believes that the secret to the longevity of ancient Egyptian monuments is that they conducted rituals during construction that involved burying living victims inside the walls. He wants his buildings to last forever, so he buried people alive inside its walls. He further reveals that one of the victims was Mary's husband. So, as an act of revenge, Mary decides to keep Malastraza locked up in the shaft, forever as a prisoner. Mary also fooled everybody by identifying other victims' body as Malastraza's. Everyone believed that Lion thought that Malastraza had died, so that she can keep Malastraza herself as her prisoner. After this shocking revelation, Jimmy is back at the hole and sends down a cassette tape. Malastraza plays the tape, and Jimmy says that he wants to see Sam and Malastraza dance. Malastraza tells her that they need to obey Jimmy's order. If they do what Jimmy wants, Jimmy is nice, but can be very cruel and imaginative if they disobey Jimmy's orders. So, Sam agrees to dance. But, when Jimmy tells them to kiss, she refuses. Malastraza pulls her close and forces her to kiss him. After a few seconds, Jimmy tells them to stop and threatens Malastraza not to touch Sam again. As a gift for their obedience, Jimmy sends down a basket with food, water, and a two-way radio. He tells Sam to keep the radio with her so that they can talk and be close. Later that night, Mary comes to the roof. Sam immediately screams to get help from Mary. Mary is very surprised to see Sam in the hole with Malastraza. Mary angrily tells Jimmy that the place was for the architect, not for anyone else. She realizes that Sam must stay in the hole with Malastraza, or else she'll report this incident to the police, and they'll take Mary away, and Jimmy will be an orphan. In the afternoon, Sam's father and his demolition team, who have received Sam's report, arrive at this apartment. They begin to set up the explosives. Elsewhere, Sam is still stuck in the hole with Malastraza. Sam continues to seduce Jimmy hoping that he will free her and save her from the explosion. However, her effort is unsuccessful. Seeing this, Malastraza tells her to save her energy. Malastraza then digs a tomb that he has designed with several pipes connected to the cement tank. Malastraza believes that when the detonation team tries to knock this building down, it will not be destroyed if an additional person is buried alive. He decides to sacrifice himself to save this building. He then asks Sam to kill him. She eventually does kill him after some taunting, and he thanks her after he falls into his tomb, and it begins to fill with cement. Meanwhile, outside the building, Mary is keeping Jimmy calm as they set up and begin to install the explosives. As the countdown begins, Jimmy starts to change his mind. He screams Sam's name and runs toward the building. Sam's father tells them to stop the countdown. At the roof, Jimmy looks down, and her father asks what they have done. Jimmy then throws himself over, killing himself, and lands next to Sam. Sam is then lifted out of the hole and put in an ambulance. Mary is arrested as she is involved in the kidnapping of Malastraza. At the end of the film, Sam narrates that Malastraza built 27 buildings and that they are all still standing. He considered this apartment building as his masterpiece, he didn't want it to be demolished. He even sacrificed himself to save the building. So, as a sign of respect, this building will not be demolished and will remain his legacy. And that's how the movie ends.